Hey you guys, so last week I showed you how you could do push-ups using the back of your car or a park bench and I'm back here at the river and I had several clients say to me, you know, I had never thought about doing that and so I felt like this might be a great opportunity for me to show you how if I'm going to go for a run and I still want to get a strength component, we can add some additional things in to do a full strength workout while we're getting our cardio endurance, okay? So we're gonna start with those push-ups that I showed you last week. To make them more difficult, if you're used to doing push-ups on the floor, you're gonna pull your elbows in nice and tight and drop, touch your chest all the way to the bench or to whatever you're using as your elevated surface and push back up. And if you wanna make it harder, the faster you go on these, the harder it's gonna be. You're gonna get a nice tricep burnout if you keep your arms in tight, okay? From there, we're gonna go a little wider with our feet, squeeze our belly button in nice and tight and do a high plank with a shoulder tap. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Slow and controlled, squeeze it in. No rocking side to side. And you can go 10 each side. Couple more. And from here, we're gonna keep with our upper body component and I'm gonna do some dips. So I'll try to show you what my legs are gonna look like here. So I'm gonna cross one foot over the other. This is gonna open up my hip as I drop into that dip on this side. I'm gonna put you guys back over here. Hopefully this will work and you'll be able to see. But I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna keep my hands right next to my hip. And I'm gonna drop and press back up. So I've got that figure four posture with my feet that I showed you. And I'll go five on one side. And again, if I'm feeling like this is easy because I'm used to something a little more difficult, maybe you go 10 on one side and you go for tempo. And then you switch to the other side and go to the other side with that figure four leg. And once you get done there, you might think, all right, so we've done all this extra upper body as we've gone for the run. So we've gotten some upper body, but what do we do for lower body? So you can do a step up and use your bench as your step up. Now this is pretty high. So you can see my knee is at greater than 90 degrees, which is fine, but you're gonna look for a surface that works for you, whether it's a single step or something that you feel like is gonna be more challenging. Here's the trick. I am going to push through my heel on the way up, all right? So I want my heel all the way up on the bench or whatever surface it is that I'm using. I'm gonna step up and tap down. Control, right? Step up, tap down. I'll go 10 on one side, step and tap, and then I'll switch to the other side, but all the way up, pushing through that heel, drive through, and tap it back down. The key is to use this leg to get you all the way back up and tap it back down. 10 each side. You've gotten your run, your upper body, your core, and a little bit of leg work as well with your strength. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Happy running.